She's best known for her roles in films like Beetlejuice, Thelma and Louise, or the more recent Netflix series Glow. But today, some of the most interesting work she's doing is off camera. For the past 15 years, Gina Davis has been dedicated to more equality for women in cinema and founded the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media. Well, I think I heard today that uh, in France it's 24% is uh, our female directors, and in the United States it's only 4%. I mean, 24 is not good enough either, but uh, 4% is an embarrassment, I think. Yeah. She's featured in This Changes Everything, presented at the Dovia Film Festival. The documentary is about discrimination against women in front of and behind the camera so in Hollywood. Few opportunities to feel inspired by the female characters. I've been one of those little girls looking for myself. You start to believe that there is something wrong with you. The door has to be opened. We just want inclusion. The issue of discrimination against women was hurt by the federal government allowing the movie industry to do what they had wanted to do. Gina Davis, hello. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. We, of course, all remember you in Thelma and Louise in 1991. In the documentary, This Changes Everything, you were saying that Thelma and Louise changed the course of your life. Yes. Tell us how. Yes, so I don't know if it did in France, but it sort of exploded in the United States. Very, you know, it struck a nerve with people. And so uh, uh, it was very different all of a sudden. Uh, particularly women would want to stop me and tell me, you know, uh, how many times they watched it and how, who they saw it with and, you know, how it impacted them. And uh, they would say things like, my friend and I acted out your trip. <laughs> I'd be like, which part? <laughs> it really made me realize how few opportunities we give women to come out of a movie theater feeling empowered and excited about the female characters, you know. And really, that's the best part of watching a movie, is to identify with the, the lead character. And so it, uh, it made me realize that I wanted to um, make choices thinking about the women in the audience. What are they going to think about my character? And after Thelma and Louise, things were supposed to change. Right. <laughs> you thought that there would be more female empowerment movies, yes. empowerment yes. movies on the big screen, but yes. nothing really changed. Yeah, nothing happened. That's what all the press predicted, that this is going to change everything. Now there's going to be so many more movies with uh, female stars and, uh, you know, buddy pictures and road movies. And, uh, and I was very excited about that. <laughs> I thought, that's great. Um, and then I made League of Their Own, which was a big hit in the United States. And uh, everybody said the same thing. Now there's going to be so many sports movies with women. And I'm just waiting for all of this to happen. And nothing happened, you know. And then every five years or so, a movie would come out with women starring, and people say, okay, now, now everything is different. And it never has changed, you know. Nothing has improved as far as that goes yet. And how did you become one of the main advocates for gender equality in Hollywood? So when my daughter was about two years old, she's 17 now, uh, I started showing her little kids TV shows. And uh, I immediately noticed, I think because of Thelma and Louise maybe, that there were far more male characters than female characters in what we're showing to little kids from the very beginning. And I just felt like, you know, we see Dick all the time. <laughs> I just wanted to see more Jane. Media has the power to educate, to shape people's thoughts. It also has an incredible power when you get to see someone who's like you on screen. Women's creative input is not making it into our nation's storytelling. Most of television and most of film is men making stuff for other men. Why would we teach kids to have unconscious gender bias from the beginning when we want to get rid of it later on? So uh, that kind of started the whole thing for me. This Changes Everything reveals that the situation of women in the industry of cinema today is actually worse mm -hmm. than it was Uh, in the early days of film, right, which is like shocking, shocking. Yes. How is it possible? 
You know, um, the film explains how, uh, in the very early days of film, nobody knew what they were doing. You know, it was all being invented, and women were absolutely equally powerful. They ran studios, uh, they were big stars and, and directors and all that. But then, uh, when the film industry started making a profit, banks got involved, and banks didn't want to finance women. Basically, and so the women were kind of driven out, unfortunately, which is uh, which is a shame. I'm also very thrilled that once I stop talking here, you will be watching a movie that I executive produced called "This Changes Everything," of which I'm very proud. And it's about a subject that, came my, that became my second obsession in the entertainment industry after acting, which is the underrepresentation and misrepresentation of women in our industry. And I'm very grateful. Thank you. In your opinion, what will it take to make ch things really change? Well. You know, my theory of change has been that uh, media images are incredibly powerful, and they can have a very negative impact on your value. You know, if women aren't taking up half of the space and doing half of the interesting things, you get a message, well, women aren't as important to society as men. But if we can change that, and that's why I'm focusing on what kids see first, show them from the beginning. Boys and girls are equal, they share the sandbox equally. Uh, it will impact, you know, how much gender bias they have. And uh, I think that could really change everything. You see that there's a lot to fight for. Uh, this Changes Everything is directed by Tom Donahue. That's right. A man. Yeah. <laughs> what do you make of this irony of a man making a movie about the lack of women right. in the industry of cinema. Right. Well, a lot of people, uh, when they first heard that, said, why did Gina hire a man? Uh, but in fact, it was his movie before I ever, he was shooting it for maybe a year or two before I came on. Uh, and it was his passion. Um, it was his idea, and he raised all the money and, uh, and started the project on his own. So, uh, and, and he has said to me that, uh, uh, that he thinks it's so important for men to be part of the solution and to be allies and really jump in and try to make a change. And, and you know, that's kind of what he's done. So it's, it's wonderful. There is a lot of controversy about director Roman Polanski winning uh, a grand jury prize in Venice while he's a convicted sex offender in right. the U.S. Right. What do you make of his continuous success? Uh, you know, um, the, the, you know. I always read about this conflict between uh, the person and their art, and should we really uh, look at both at the same time, or do people get a pass? I, I'm not really in favor of people getting a pass. Uh, you know, especially ever since Me Too and Time's Up. And, um, I'm, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in that. What impact do you think the Me Too and Time's Up movement have had on gender equality in Hollywood? Right. I think there's a big difference now. Uh, the main part of it being that now it's okay to talk about all of this stuff, about uh, sexual harassment, uh, gender discrimination, uh, unequal pay, lack of roles lack of women behind the camera. Also, the filmmaker of This Changes Everything noticed a big change after all this happened, because uh, suddenly people were saying, yes, yes, yes. You could see who everybody is in this movie, you know. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. How many female di directors have you worked with? Only two female directors, yeah. And how is a film directed by a female di director is different from one uh, directed by a, a man? You know, I haven't noticed any dramatic difference, really. Men and women are equally competent. And, I mean, you could say women are better at telling stories from the female perspective, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, Ridley Scott directed Thelma and Louise, so, you know, there's the other argument. I, I think the attitude should be 
men can direct women, women can direct men, you know, that everybody needs a shot at, at all movies. One of the recurring roles uh, that you have now is on the Netflix series Glow. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, about female wrestler in yes. the 80s. You joined the cast for season yes. three. I would like to extend Glow's contract until the end of the year. It's stuck. <laughs> what the f is happening now? God, I love opening nights. What do you love about this series and what does it say about today? Right. I was a big fan of the show before they asked me to, to come on. I just did this season, you know. And um, uh, I was thrilled to, to uh, be able to be a part of it. I mean, not since League of Their Own have I had an experience where there's so many women and uh, the creators are women and most of the directors and all that. Um, so it's very uh, empowering and exciting. Thank you, Gina Davis, and congratulations Thank for you. your award here in Dovia. Thank, Thank you. you.